Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. I wanted to go back and talk a little bit more about the Boogie 2988 documentary. And I've been watching a few videos since then that's critiqued it. And for the most part, everybody's got the same, uh, they got the same thing out of it. Um, and that is Boogie's sense of entitlement. Um, you know, I used to follow Boogie when he was, uh, before he hit a million subscribers, before he even hit 500,000 subscribers, I was following Boogie. And the content he would release was like wholesome, um, you know, basically made you feel good to watch it. And, um, you know, he would tell his story about his life and uh, you felt sorry for the guy. And, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth about that. Uh, I, I could be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong about a lot of things considering the fact that, you know, I watched this documentary and I came out and like, dude, what the fuck happened between, you know, your first video and now, like, it's, you become a totally different person. You've become a monster uh, that craves attention, even if it's negative, who has a sense of entitlement and ego that if it freaks me out a little bit because I know there's a lot of people that can't handle fame and they have these big giant egos and they feel like they are owed the world and everything should be handed to them. I don't think that's how it works. Just because you have 4 million subscribers, that doesn't really mean much in the scheme of things. At the end of the day, we all have skin, we all have blood, and we all die. We're not entitled to nothing. We're not. The only people that I think that would be entitled to something it would be a soldier or, you know, maybe a cop or something. I, I, I don't know. People that actually do something to benefit society. Making a YouTube video is not really going to benefit much. It's just going to make people feel good. And that's what you used to do. That's the weird thing. Like, you used to be so wholesome. You was labeled the Mr. Rogers of the Internet. Like, I followed for years. Like, I, I loved your content. Like, I like for the longest time, I always wanted to, like, meet you or something like that. But, like, now it's just like, ah, man, what happened? What happened? Like, really, what happened? How can somebody go from the bottom, work themselves all the way to the top, and get hit rock bottom even worse than he was at the beginning of his uh, YouTube days. I get it. I get it. Fame affects a lot of people. Uh, it's ego boosting. Uh, you're used to people throwing things at you. Companies giving you new items to play with for free. Like how many times have we watched you open up uh, Playstations or Xboxes or uh, meta PCs and all this stuff. You got all these sponsors throwing money at you to show for their product. Even Raid Shadow Legends. But uh, you're not entitled to it. You're not entitled to anything. The one thing you are entitled to is being a good person. And I kind of feel like you lost track of that. I think you lost track of your mission, whatever that is. I hate to use the word mission because it's cringe, but I feel like you lost track of who you actually are as a person. I know you had money, I know you had fame, but blowing it all on hookers and expecting people just to give you money to live. You know, I, I've worked jobs, I, there was a time where I couldn't hold a job down. I had dozens of jobs that I just couldn't hold down. I was a fucking loser. Still today, like, I look back, I'm like, that was an awful time in my life. But today I'm working to make the money. Yeah, we struggle from time to time. But I ended up going and got, got a job. And that's something you're going to have to face the reality of is getting a job. I know you might think that's beneath you. But you might have 4 million some subscribers, but you can only barely muster up maybe 15, 20,000 people to watch your videos. That's a far cry from where you was before. That's not gonna pay much. 
I know how much YouTube pays. There for a while, whenever my channel was growing and I was getting thousands of people watching some of the videos, you know, I was making okay money. It was like a couple hundred dollars here or there, but it was nice to have. Now I don't make anything. You know, I, I, I've got 2,600 subscribers and my videos barely crack 20, 20 to 50 views. I'm bad, I, you know, at least I'm better off than I was, I don't know, three years ago where I wasn't getting any views. You have to be thankful for what you have. At least when you post a video, you have some people, but it's like, yeah, I liked what this person has to say. Or, no, I don't like exactly everything he says, but I think he's a good person, or B, they hate you. And you have a lot of people that hate you. And I don't, I feel like the documentary didn't do you any favors. If only, the only thing it really did was prove that Mike Klum is a great documentary producer or director, and you come off as a scumbag. And I hate to say that because, you know, I still like your videos. You know, I still like you as a person. I still like your content. But the sense of entitlement really blows me away. Like, it makes you seem like, I don't know. Remember watching Willy Wonka and the girl turned into the blueberry? You're the fucking blueberry. I think you need to reassess things. I think you need to, like, go back, look, and be like, hey, I fucked up. How can I fix this? I'm not going to be successful like I was before, but at least I could try. At least I could try to change people, help people. I think that's what a lot of people want. They want the old boogie back. They don't like the new boogie, the new uh, edgelord boogie that came about, you know, right as you got this surgery, when you started speaking about things that you shouldn't be talking about. I know, because I talk about some of the same shit, and it gets me in trouble from time to time. Like, uh, the other day, I made a video about me changing, and, you know, they said I was conservative, almost MAGA conservative. You know, it, that does hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. But you're going to have people that says that you're going to have to grow a fucking skin. You're going to have to grow a shell. You have to do something. But you do need to take a look and be like, hey, man, I, I need to get a job. You know, I don't want you to have to lose your home. I don't know if you can get back on disability. I don't know. You, but you need to get a job. You need to drop this sense of entitlement. You're nearly 50 years old. The best days of your life in terms of YouTube is gone. I don't know. I, I'm just rambling at this point. But guys, I'll talk to you later.